For children, it's never been more important to support each other and to speak up when and if they come across a situation online that's unfair. So how do we check in with our kids, teach them and remind them to be kind online? Behind every profile picture, there is a real person with real feelings is, is really key. So especially if your child's just getting used to chatting online, it can take a while for them to work out those small nuances of you know what is and, and isn't appropriate, right? So they'll need guidance from you to kind of make those, those safer choices. Um, help them to realize that just because you're behind a screen, it doesn't mean that your actions will have less of an impact or be less hurtful, right? On, on the other hand, kind of encourage them to kind of pause before sharing. I think a lot of times what happens online is that kind of knee-jerk reaction and just kind of taking that beat, thinking about, you know, what they're going to say and asking themselves, is this something that I say to someone face to face? So again, this idea that, you know, uh, their words, their actions are actually, you know, not just going out into the ether, they're going to impact someone. So remind them that when they post, whether it's a joke or a comment, you know, others really can't see sort of those smaller things, whether they're, you know, they're smiling or they're laughing again those nuances so get them to think about sort of considering whether it's a good idea to share something written in that way you know or shared in that way or not so it's about taking that beat to think more critically about not just what they're saying but very very importantly how they're saying it and finally if they are older and still quite savvy about what they share it doesn't hurt to remind them that you know that good old t-shirt test right so if you wouldn't put it on a t-shirt for everyone to see it's probably not best to share it online. Try and talk about how it might make someone feel to be left out of a group. Kind of, you know, encouraging them to empathize with people in another group is really, really important, both online and off, right? So encourage them to try and be more inclusive when it comes to things like group chat or, or online gaming. Make sure they know how to treat others and critically get them to think of how they'd like to be treated themselves. I think the idea of, you know, speaking to your child about whether they're going to be a bystander or an upstander is a critical one, whether it's online or off. So whether it's encouraging your child to, to send a supportive message to a friend that's struggling, right? To let them know that they're not alone. Um, if your child sees something unkind online, encourage them not to make the situation worse by, you know, inadvertently provoking those involved even further. Encourage your child to celebrate what makes them and others unique so they see differences as something positive. If your child is a victim of cyberbullying, make sure you talk about it. Don't stop from going online. Block or report the bully and show your support. There are other resources that you may find helpful. The BBC Own It app is designed for kids and is helping to make the internet a kinder, safer place, one message at a time. The app comes with a special keyboard that offers guidance and advice to kids when they're chatting to their friends in real time as they type. You can also visit the Internet Matters website, which offers a range of advice to get to grips with helping your child be kind online. How we behave online shouldn't differ from how we behave offline. Teaching our children about kindness online will benefit them and others around them.